imagined myself as someone suited to a life of incarceration. As a boy, I was afraid of confined spaces. I feared elevators. When I was old enough, I just wanted to get in the car, roll the windows, and drive, drive, drive wherever my eyes would take me. I was an American kid. Confinement of any kind was terrifying to me. So to my surprise, having been sentenced to 10 years in prison, I found I adjusted quite well. Same activities, same time, every day. The same toothbrush, the same clothes, same toilet, same stale sweat, stale smoke, stale bodies, stale cooking, stale farts, the same conversations. The faces change, but not much. No choice. I found that I liked reading books. I never read a book before, not all the way through. I found a life for myself that had been beyond my imagination. It was in prison I learned to count cards. What separates blackjack from other games is that it's based on dependent events, meaning past affects the probability in the future. The house has a 1.5% advantage. If a player knows the nature of the cards in the shoe, he can turn the house advantage to himself. To do this, he has to keep track of every card that is played. Count is based on a high-low system. High cards, 10, jack, queen, king, have a value of minus one. If they are depleted, player's advantage goes down. The low cards, two, three, four, five, six, have a value of plus one. The seven, eight, and nine have no count value. The player keeps track of every card and calculates the running count. Then the player arrives at the true count, which is the running count divided by the decks remaining. For example, if the running count is plus nine and there are four and a half decks remaining, nine over four and a half gives you a true count of plus two. As true count increases, the player's advantage increases. The idea is to bet little when you don't have the advantage more when you do. Oh, that's about enough for me. Hey, Good to see you. How are we doing? Hi, how are you? Good. Yeah, would you like large bills? Yes, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and fifty. That's seven hundred and fifty dollars. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Sir. Like a single, one night. I'll pay now. I have cash. Fifty-six dollars. Right. Checkouts at noon. Sign here. Would you like some coffee? How old is it? 
I made it this morning. I'm fine. Room 101. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You. you have a suggestion? You here for the poker tournament? Yeah, I like grand openings. Reopenings. You know, I don't know why yeah, they well, bother. They're working things out. Mistakes get made. It always happens. They got a new high stakes pie gal room. Yeah, house odds 11%. Yeah, and plenty of suckers. I don't know. Those Asian gamblers are pretty crafty. No, that's it. You just seem to think them that way. You know, what, what are you going to play? I'm going to play a little blackjack. Oh, you know, there's some great guys down here. Downtown, nah, downtown. I've, I've met enough people. No, you got to meet them, man. So, anyway, so. All right, you know what? Let's just go to Washout Casino. It's 15 minutes away. We can sit in on the poker game. Ah, slippery. Come on, Mr. B. We're going. We're going. You know what? This has been dead to me. You can... Kansas City's been a bust me anyway. It's like ever since I've been... I play Kansas City. Out. 